and a wind strike in the grand final. We got there in the end. Yes, EP we did. Taking their time, however, not in a rush We've outside of the B bomb site. They've got the bomb there. Jumping around is Kicker with some utility. And VP, they're going to be going late B, but that's not if, that's only if Spirit don't beat them to the punch. These CTs are getting aggressive and they spotted the bomb as well. I just balance, finding one, he's doubled it. And now the bomb's dropped to the feet of Spirit. They haven't cleared it out just yet, but they're about to realize. And now VP this entire round is just about getting control back of this position. They found one, but are they ready for two more? Sanji overwhelmed. Oh, he hits a second, but Sunday Young taps down two, and that will be the pistol, the way of Spirit. Yeah, that round, a little something right there on the edge for Spirit. And, of course, for Harry Russell, just looking at what VP have to offer so far, they don't want to have that reverse sort of put back on them pressure that was running the scoreline up 12, 13 to 0. And the matchup that actually ended 16-3, as you can see in the top right, Mirage was a breeze. And there were no geniuses in sight to tell you that. Well, mid control, there's a man behind the fountain. There we go. I Disbalance does spot him once he swings a little bit wider. Now, while this fight is going on, James is wrapped close, but there is support in the form of some die young. Buster is all the way down long, and this is kind of cool, but kind of not really that important because the bomb is dropped back at T-Ramp, so even getting that position wasn't able to do anything, only had a Glock as well. It's uh, an investment coming in for VP in this round here and now. And it's gonna be these rifles bought on out. Now you will be lacking the AWP on Jame and I disbalance, he's gonna have his heading into this first fire round. The rest of the gang that had SMGs, they're gonna keep those in play. So it's a, a bit of an attempt at a bonus round here. But, but, like, not really at the same time. I don't know, it's weird. Like, Chopper and Mir, they're going to have cash into the future. So is some die young because he hasn't died yet. No one else really fits into that category. So if Team Spirit lose this, they will have two players that are partial buying Deegs and armor, or force buying Deegs and armor, rather, if they do decide to invest. Now, obviously, the risk-reward of that is that if you win this and you get those free AK upgrades, then you're going to be laughing all the way to the bank on the Team Spirit side. Very slow start from VP, falling back into their old habits here. <laughs> well, I'd say you can't fix. It's not broken. So far, it is broken, though. Two to zero. Potentially, Virtus Pro with something up their sleeve in this round. They've got to go back. They've gone to grab the bomb, and they have their sights set on B. What they are going to do is leave a Drin over here on his lonesome in the divider to maybe get a rotation out of there just to kind of scuff up Spirit's attempts at holding on to this B bomb site, but they're able to pull a couple grenades out of them. Meanwhile, Virtus Pro throwing grenades as well. It looks like this B hit might be slowed down a little bit by a smoke from Spirit. Never mind, they're gonna go through it. Magic's gonna have the all day for the lineup. This mirror that's gonna walk away with the frags, leaves him on five HP, he's able to dump that MP9 and pick up an AK. And ultimately a 4v3, Virtus Pro still haven't found the inside of the site. I haven't even realized what it looks like yet. And with 20 seconds left on the clock, I don't know that that's much of a reality. They backed the bomb away. They're looking at A. They're going to have to hustle, though. They're going to have to run right on in and try to plant. Oh, no. Ah, a trend. He goes right into the orb. It was waiting for that exact oh, play in the wall bank. It won't connect. It's a little to the right, but VP at least get the plant. But Jame dead straight after leaving Buster on B. Even if he got that kill, they would have just stuck the defuse, and that's what they do anyway. Spirit find a 3-0 lead. Really great call for Idis Balance to not only not rotate, but but the fact that he's playing safe there is better than him fighting in the site, right? He he baits almost as, you know, in a way, baits a Dren into spawn by not making any noise. And Dren thinks, oh guys, I've beaten them. They've all rotated B. I'm up on the A site. Come bring the bomb. Tries to push bank, loses his life. Even though VP get the plant, it does enable a bit of investment here, a Dren full forcing, but pistols around it. is the case. Chopper has pushed all the way through long. He does have a rifle. Uh -oh. He knows he can take this fight, make it a little bit more personal. A little awkward exchange of eye, eyesight there between him and James. 
You got to wonder if they saw each other. Yeah, they did. James spots him and then just runs back. And Chopper knows he's been seen, so he just also runs back. Like, it's like the gentleman agreement of, Sorry, nah. man. We'll meet again another day. Yeah. It's like an anime sort of setup there, I guess. I don't really watch anime, but <laughs> I'd have I. to assume. You're talking to the, the least anime-influenced well, desk you have probably ever worked well, on, Trace. I don't know. I think Harry fancies himself a little bit of a weeb. Harry, thoughts? Uh, I'm... Not really an anime guy. You're Rush an, is. You're an anime girl? If Rush was here, <laughs> nice he, he would be loving it. <laughs> With a skirt that short, Harry, I don't know if I can believe you. Oh. And that is on the body pillow. That's what's attracting the ants to your room. It's the anime body pillow. Anyway, oh. weaves aside, the magic Lovely. is out here on the B site. He's good for two before Sanji comes rolling in with the Technina. Yeah, VP just doing the space bar trick, right? Flying through the tunnel, and now yeah. they fly into the B-bomb site and also into the site of SDY. He's holding, he's watching, he's waiting, and he's taking the round. Buster, all alone, dinked by the orb through a wall, and some Dai Young swings to clean it up. It's going to be four and O oh for Spirit. No rounds lost in this game. We've just flipped the switch, apparently. We've just turned it back on its head here. Of course. Yeah, man, it's like we said, you know, Team Spirit, not even a problem for them right now. 4-0 up, and things are looking good over on the Team Spirit side. VP, bit of a slow start here. But there's always time to switch it up. And I think important to note, this is the first time, you know, even though we're five rounds in, and normally it's a bit of a mainstay for VP, that we have the AWP in James' hands, and he's been yet to get a kill in this series, or in this map, rather. If it was in the series, that would be very impressive. That and three. probably the end of James' career. So, yeah, yeah yet yep. to get a kill in this map, but maybe that changes now with this AWP coming out. What's the least amount of kills? I pose this question to any investigators, any detectives out there in the Twitter sphere. What's, what's the least kills someone has had in a best of three series? Now, my only caveat here is they have to have played both maps in the entirety, right? Not, so, not someone that's joined halfway through a match because someone crashed and, and got, went four and three. Like someone who played two maps at bare minimum. What's the least amount of kills? Trace, what's your record at? <laughs> at what? Least kills, kills in a series. It's in the hundreds. I couldn't tell you. In the hundreds. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's... Um, that does sound about right. I remember breakout player for Cloud9. Yeah, Trace has hundreds of series where he has the least kills. It's actually kind of crazy. Maybe he should fix that. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, thanks, well, it's guys. Fine. Appreciate Everyone's the love here, Everyone's going up on Trace now. Not the intention it's we fine, had. It's fine, doesn't end the, well for either of you. He's no, the one with a nice HLTV rating, not us. So, like, you know, he, he wins at the end of the day. Guess I mean, I had right. zero kills in a map. I don't even think some of the matches I played with Cloud9 is like a stand-in, even went on HLTV.org because yeah. the leagues don't exist anymore. There are four, that, that is possible. There are four games under your name. And why Cloud are we 9. examining my life? You know what? Yeah. I got an idea. I'm going to dox you right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tracy, 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 mate, they're saving, by the way. That's how we're just kind of talking about Trace's yeah. whole life up until this point in time. One of them you went two and one in. That's pretty impressive. Okay. That isn't an overtime affair. That's two and uh, one. Nice that score. is the, the case. A lot of weird things pop up when I Google your name. Oh, you're trying to dox me by searching my name. Don't worry. I've, I pretty much wiped everything that I don't want off there. So not everything, pretty much. So Yeah, I mean, but this has got me going to the, some website that's uh, it's got some warnings and I don't Whoa. know. We'll stay away Whoa, from that. Trace. Anyways, five to zero. There was no warning for Virtus Pro, who are getting absolutely slammed right now. Not the best of times, not the worst of times, Harry. No, I mean, that round, like, VP didn't even really attempt it once they lost the first few kills. They just keep three players alive. And so now they look to refocus their attention here onto round number six. Still, it's not the best thing to come out of your first rifle round with the kind of silver lining that you get a second chance at your first rifle round in the next. And once again, it's the opener found for Team Spirit. Mir is the man to do it. I disbalance, yeah, yeah, yeah. gonna hold down the connector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does get bested by Jay when he finally arrives on the scoreboard. His first kill in the map on the back of his big green gun. Looking for another, and it might get offered up by some Dai Young who's still inside of the connector. Now, a temporary liability here for Team Spirit. 
is that this A site is open. There is Chopper waiting in the toilets, but this is allowing VP to creep all the way down long. And if Chopper gets caught looking the wrong way at the wrong time, these guys can get into the site and start to cause some real problems here. Yeah, they can look to spike down their flag here inside of this A site. Of course, that would be a feat for Virtus Pro considering they're currently on zero. I don't think Spirit plan on letting up anytime soon. Numbers currently favoring Spirit, and nice. Buster's already been found out. All that forward positioning a little bit wasted. You know what they say, Jane time, baby. Ooh. He gets eliminated by Mir, and Magix does the due diligence of taking Sanji out. They're going to save an AWP. Spirit put a six up to the zero of Virtus Pro nil. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're broke. No money left for VP, right? They were relying on that bomb part there. Jane probably would have got it if he didn't jump. He, he edges out to kill Chopper really well, and then he jumps on the site, and that jump gets him killed because Magic spots him, uh, or a player spots him from the bank. So that's unfortunate for Jane, but it do be like that. Sometimes a cookie, well, it just crumbles, and you don't get to eat it. So it goes to the ants. It does. Common affair here. Interestingly enough, you are correct, sir. Two players on O and five as well, which is not the start the VP wanted, especially considering it's been, it, for me, it's been two of the standout players. Kicker, especially on Inferno and Adren, looked really, really good back in that previous map as well, although he struggled on the opener. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's a slow start for VP, but they can't afford to let this go on for too long, right? Need a round eventually. They've tried everything. Fast B plays, slow A plays. Where do the pistols lead them now? But just just trust me here for a second, Hugo. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Adren is almost ready to graduate the academy. And with that, he will unlock the status of agent. That, yeah, it's pretty close. License to chill, coming through. Yeah. Perhaps there will be some other licenses granted by the powers therein. Find out Adren with the Technina. He's going to go up first and connect her, making a ton of noise while he does it as well. Full send even as he runs towards the bathroom. Really didn't want to slow down, it seems. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Sanji, he's lost health. He's lost life here in the B short area. The one rifle in this round, he should probably throw that over because down to 30 from a warbang as well. I love how the default is now for CT just to blow the door off the connector. Not only do you, uh, you know, get a lot of damage off spamming the wood, but you can see, right? We've had players play heaven, just jump spotting. You see if, if anyone's rotating up or down. So good swap, a drum with a gun, looking to get out of this 0-5 hole and in towards a B-bomb site. Yeah, he's going to be offered up first. Now let's see what sort of reaction we get out of Spirit. He clears Ooh. all the way around for his teammates to come out monster, and now Chopper is able to ring out from the barrels. Magix with two. This isn't going swimmingly just yet. Three for Magix before he's taken down. 30 seconds left on the clock. Adren on six HP, but he has broken the mold. But I can Ooh. tell you right now, the only thing glittering right now is the Spirit's gold. We're looking at them try to hold on to this bombsite. Just 20 seconds, Oof. and again, Virtus Pro have worked themselves into a hole. That grenade would have done it for some die young. However, didn't even take that. I disbalance closes it out. Seven nil. I say again, seven nil. Yeah. Adren gets his first kill, though. That's good. I actually like the way VP take that site, right? They they come in from short, but every time VP have hit monster, they've get, got mowed down through that tunnel. So what they do is they throw those deep flashes, they come out short, and then the first two players go wide, right out of short, clear monster, clear that position. It enables those players to push through the smoke without having to worry about an aggressive CT player mowing them down through the tunnel. And then VP just clear up the players on the site. Obviously, Magic's getting three, certainly helps Spirit in that round, but it keeps them on their streak. 7-0, the half buy. It's nothing done for VP but a plant. And while that enables this buy, you can keep buying all you want, it doesn't matter unless you're getting rounds on the board. Uh-oh. Oh, some guy young. Hiding close up in the party. Jane, the party pooper, does manage to show up and deals with some die young. I disbalance decides that actually I don't want to be in the toilets. I am going to go back towards this A bomb site, and that's going to allow him to hold down long. Chopper will be afforded a 1v1 here in the connector, and he does a lot of damage onto Sanji, but Sanji is the man reaping the reward of that duel. 
An advantage taken for VP and a B play looking to come in late. Team Ooh. Spirit, they have left B. They've pushed Catwalk. They've gone into Connector. They have to read that this might be an A play, and that could not be further from the truth in this round. The other problem is, is that Buster is still at long. That's yeah. like the one other area of the map that's a bit of a liability for Team Spirit. And so there's like a chance that as this bomb plant comes in, they get cut down on rotation. If that happens, this might just have to be a save for Team Spirit. I think they've realized that smoke on B gives, gives it away. And Mir, he's going to go and try and keep up this streak. It won't happen. Jane picks him up. And with that, the save seems like the most likely option here for Spirit. It's a sad way to lose your first round. You always want to go out with a bang, go down with a fight, but sometimes you're just too far away from the action and they will have to concede this one. VP on the board, finally. It's felt like far too long, especially after how dominantly they took the previous map as well, 16-3. So Spirit trying to do the same right back will at least be denied in the short term. Yeah, don't call it a comeback for Virtus Pro. No, I'm not. Don't you dare do that. It'll happen organically. Doesn't need your sort of essence, Hugo, which is the line of shampoo products that Hugo and Harry have created and will be coming out with, I think, next spring is what you guys slated, right? Next spring, yeah, man. We really wanted the springtime release. We were hoping for 2020, but things haven't really been looking good for that. So 2021, the spring release mechanism on our shampoo bottle. on our shampoo will blow your mind literally it's <laughs> deadly um <laughs> well, watch out well then <laughs> thank you uh, that'll be harry rinsing our minds of that mental image clean hair don't care no hair don't care Ooh. Ooh. targeted grenades Ooh. now that's something i do love about what t's can do especially here on overpass we see astralis do it and it's no surprise that we're going to see other teams do it as well yeah they've basically made that meta right like everyone does it and it's so good at cheesing a kill with such little risk and so much reward i think one of the teams that we see do it like an insane amount weirdly enough is dignitas they they love the set yeah. nades on this map man they're always looking to gimmick a kill off the back of it in this round an aid found damage, but the first kill is retrieved by Mr. Sundai Young, or SDY, as he's abbreviated it to in game. Oof. High disbalance. Continues to put up numbers on the board for Team Spirit. One thing I will say about VP right now, I think one of the reasons that they're struggling is a lot of these fights that, that, that they offer up to Team Spirit is just one player dueling versus the uh, the CTs. And like sometimes it's a 1v1, but a lot of the time it isn't. And look, look here's another isolated gunfight being taken down in Monster. Well, that kill comes in, it can't get traded. There's a kill that can get traded and Adren gets it, gets the trade. But it's a 1v4 for him, you know? Like, what can he even do here? Even if Adren was popping off right now, even if he had 20 kills in the server at this point in time, this is still a, an impossible clutch to pull off. So he's got no choice but to save. And VP, they're not a team that I ever attribute, like, to taking these kind of 1v1s all across the map. Really not the style that I'm used to seeing from this squad. 1v1 or 1v2s, you win. Well, it's... like, even if you look at the minimap, right, and you look at, like, where all these deaths came in, you'll see that, right, look, there's this one here. This is one guy creeping over towards mid. That's Jame dead. He was away from the rest of the pack. Kicker pushes B alone. He's got a bit of an excuse because he's in the lurk role, right? So it makes sense that there's no one with him. But, you know, at the point that you're in a three on five, having him solo push B while the others didn't weren't necessarily ready to kind of commit to an A-side play on the back of it, even that's a bit of a question mark. But there's just been a lot of 1v1s in this round. Even in the first round that VP put on the board, there was an early 1v1 between Sanji and Chopper down in the connector that luckily Sanji was able to win out. And, you know, when it works, you, you can get around on the board around it, right? But... I don't know, we always say VP, they play by the percentages. They play in kind of the, the safety of these numbers. And by leaving so many of these duels open, it does feel like they're making it hard for themselves. So I like that in this round, we see two Ooh. players moving in together over here towards Longside, Jame and Buster. They can play off of one another now. And that will be the first two kills picked up for VP on the back of this little tag team mission out towards Long. Already, I like what I see in this round. And look what it causes Sumdai Young to do. You know, he has to play a little bit more cautious now. Even consider the idea of just grouping on B with the rest of his team and holding the fort down there because 
you know, solo A, not ideal, not optimal. At least strength in numbers at B is something they can look forward to. And that is going to be the case. So yeah. with 40 seconds, roughly 45 seconds left in the round, Virtus Pro have their eyes set towards A, but don't let that fool you. There's always the classic strategy of go back B. I like this from Kicker. He, there's two things that happen. He, he either dies instantly and they go A, or he gets the kills and then they can rotate B if yeah. needed. But he dies, but he gets the info. He knows there's two more players there. Now VP can just speed it up, win the round. We actually see Fnatic do that so much with like Flusher on the overpass. They'll have four grouped on A or B, and then they'll throw Flusher either through the toilets or through Monster or through B short. And, and judging by the info that he gets, most of the time from when we see that happen, Flusher just dies. But he gets the information and Fnatic play off the back of that. It's a very common way of just, you know, confirming whether you're walking into a stack or not. VP, they could have, you know, been walking into a triple A setup. And so if Buster walks out Monster there and goes, guys, B is clear, then VP can rotate down and avoid Team Spirit in that round. It's just, a, you know, the, the push and prod never giving battle of information almost. But yeah, with Virtus Pro going two here, can they string together five in a row? I want to know what you think. Use hashtag ESL1. Let us know what you think. Tell us your darkest secrets. <laughs> Again, that's hashtag ESL1 here on the road to Rio. What's your darkest secret, Trace? Oh, yeah, boy. man, let's just bring that one up. Trace, what's the most <laughs> horrific thing <laughs> that, <laughs> that you you've have. ever been a part of? Well, we'll be back with the ESL1 on road to Rio when we find... <laughs> No. Just me and Harry, funnily enough, yeah, actually yeah. coming back. Well, eight to two right now. Team Spirit, they're doing something pretty horrific right now as well. They are yeah. taking it to VP here on overpass, but VP starting to show some resurgence, starting to look to come alive here in map number three. Buster going to start this round off early on towards long. Cat wrap along with, uh, oh sorry, connector wrap along with a guy pushing over towards short. That's going to be Kicker and Sanji working this area of the map together. Oh. And already from VP, there's a lot more trade potential in this round than there have been in a lot of rounds prior. You have a double setup in mid. You've got Buster clearing long. You know, even though there's a few players that are a little bit away from the pack, you can certainly afford that, right? I'm not suggesting that they just roll around as five guys all the time. Can't just be eating five guys all the time. Nah, man. Let's see, though, as uh, this round certainly <laughs> might pick up the pace, Trace. Yep. Harry smiling yet again, caught in the action, red-handed and red-haired. Of course, now that leaves just Hugo and I to sort of decipher through all the information that we've been given thus far, and that is going to be the Virtus Pro. Strong A presence. Pending the outcome of this kill, you might even see them just storm right up here onto this A site. Spirit is shooting their own smokes to bait the fact that no one's inside of them. That's a great play. Adren has no idea, and some die young. He gets out with a kill and a half. Sanji's down low. Door finishing the job. I disbalance watching long. He's going to pull out a grenade. This could be badly timed. 20 seconds. They're going to come through it, but they're stuck inside of the site. I disbalance what? finds another. Buster could have swung him there and just taken the kill. Kicker though, the B lurk player, Hugo, you said the benefit to having him is that maybe he walks in and he says, oh, yo, B's clear. Well, guess what? B's, B's clear. clear. James rotating Time. in. He's got the bomb, no. but oh, tagged on the cross. Mir solidifies the round. I don't think and he had Kicker it. falls off the time as well. So close. Yeah. Yet at the same time so far. Do you know how that, that one works? That really. is a great call, though, right? Like you said, Spirit, full rotation off a beat, kicker clears it out, and if only there was a, a couple more seconds with James to rotate, that could have been perfect. I want to talk about that setup with Sundar Young, right? He's inside of the smoke. Adren is looking at it. Now, already, if you sit inside of a smoke and it fades, you're favored in terms of seeing your opponent first. But Sundar Young, not only does he sit there, Adren's considering it, but then players on the site shoot the smoke. And what that insinuates for Spirit is that they have no one there and that they're wondering if VP are in the smoke. Adren sees the bullets, he lets his guard down, the smoke fades, and Sundar Young surprises him. That's a really good setup from Spirit. The old bait. A 9-2, well earned in this position. I disbalance, back with the AWP on long. Flick does get missed, but he doesn't lose a lot of health. He's got a chance to back up towards the safety of the A site. And I think after finding some success or some way to get out onto this A site, they're tempted by it again. Virtus Pro, you can tell. Well, at least for Spirit, they're playing three deep monster, which is a little wild. They've already pulled it back just a little bit. 
just so they can have some vision on the sandbags. The Red Advertis Pro take that avenue of approach into this B-bomb site. But for the time being, this could very well be a split. Late towards bathroom is going to be Buster. Everybody else concentrating up, congregating up even toward, towards this B site. Oh, well. <laughs> Mystical Mip. Of course, Mir now doing his best Resident Evil impression. Let's see. What can he do? He's floated in, and this magician is trying to make the whole round disappear for VP, but he's only able to put up a double. Adren with the triple entry oh, boost dear. over the top, but Adren sees it. Oh, actually, Jane does get caught. I, that molly looked like it was gone, but Ideas Valentin's kept taking damage as it faded. So now he's low on HP. Adren hadn't really offered up for VP very much across this series, despite looking good all road to Rio long. Well, in this round, he's come alive. He's got three to his name now, and he needs a little bit more just to solidify this for oh, VP getting no. pressured. Adren's on four, and it falls now to Buster to finish the work that Adren started. Some die young. Time is the problem. It's ticking away from him. He's got to get on this bomb, and when he taps it, the peak could come through. Buster sees he's not That's on it. it. He's won the round. He's done enough. And VP, they're going to come in with round number three. Four for Adren. It's stellar work on the entry. Sundai Young not able to retrieve the AWP either. It's a cool little surf nonetheless. In case you're far from the beach, you just got a little bit of a taste as to what was happening right there. Not something you see every day. Yeah, water sports for Adren. Just hiding inside of the pit as well. And putting up damage. Uh, Spirit coming in for the retake there. It's going to be a third round one for VP. They have not got many of them in this game, but at least coming alive near the end of the half, if they find five or six, things are fine. But they're not there yet. And more low money problems. James, as always, has the AWP. Never really an issue for VP. They crowdfund that when they can. Sanji's on SMG. James holding the peak. And oh, back to back rounds. James, he's had sitters missed by this AWP towards short. VP could have done with those kills at this point. Either way, it's not a loss, at least. VP don't go down early. They just miss an opportunity that could have been a five on four. They haven't cleared connector either. Knowing there's a man nearby, Chopper is there. They've got Buster on the top side to keep him in. He can't leave. And so Sanji's going to try and clear it out from the lower side. Buster has no utility to assist. And so it's down to the gunfight. Doesn't go well. Not for Sanji, at least. Buster still has the exit, but there's no reason for Chopper to move. And talking of moving, that's exactly what Ivis Balance is doing. He's pushed up party and he's flanked Buster for that kill. Now the B play. Kick it fully flashed. And VP just desperate. Yeah, they'll take anything. They will take whatever you're willing to give right now, Team Spirit. And that molly will provide Kicker putting up one, but into the crossfire of some die young and Mir at short side. Jane left in a 1v3 and Chopper will swing on out. Deals with him. Double digits now for Team Spirit. 10 to 3. And overpass is looking like a Team Spirit map. Though for those of you who are just tuning in, let me remind you, this is a semi-final matchup. We're three maps deep right now. You can see it up in the top right. You already had Inferno take place. VP able to pick that one up. Mirage, oh sorry, the other way around. VP's map pick picked up by Team Spirit and then Mirage going the way of VP despite being the pick of the Spirit Boys. Later on today, we're gonna have that Vitality G2 lower bracket game to decide who goes on to face the loser of FaZe versus Astralis for a shot at the grand final. A lot on the line right now, and VP know it. He might need to pick up some rounds here. Find a kill and connector at least. SDY dead alongside Kicker. Although he died outside of the B site where Spirit have taken some aggressive foothold towards a B short area. Magix and Mia. Peering towards a connector, and they know there's someone inside, but Sanji's not willing to take the risk and dive through the doorway. Spirit gonna look down towards Monster, and they might find a lot here as the bomb is on its own right now. Jame is there. Gotta be grouping towards water though, looking for this B, uh, B execute, not even a split. Everyone from the same position. Mears dropped the first. Here come the cavalry. Here come the T's. And with a kill to their name, Buster, he doubles down with a D. He's opened up a world here for Virtus Pro in the end of the half. Guns at their feet and bomb planted. This is winnable. Yeah, and a map that's been full of doom and gloom for otherwise the pro that is Virtus. 
2v2, a real shot at it now. Buster on 51, but Chopper and Ida's balance. Full HP, one flash between the two of them, and one kit between the two of them. Here comes the flash, lands on the other side of Monster. Chopper clears it and does successfully. That leaves Buster over here. He's going to get cleared off as well. An easy defuse and an even easier retake for Spirit. 11 to 3. Virtus Pro are getting embarrassed. It's time to stop. Or we'll start. That would probably be a better idea because three rounds, Trace, they're barely off the runway right now. Where are your parents, Hugo? Home. Oh. As they should be. Flattening the curve, Trace. Well, Team Spirit, they're flattening VP right now. 11-3. <laughs> A potential at a 12-3 half. VP, they need to do everything in their power to try and salvage this final round of play. I do not see a 12-3 comeback feeling likely. I'd love to get proven wrong, though. Virtus Pro, they've impressed us here at the Road to Rio. They have been playing above and beyond. And if it all falls apart here in the third and final map of this semi-final series, then that would be heartbreaking. Some guy young going to drop this smoke down by his feet, trying to spy the man at short side and he does deal with a dren but now they go back they leave the toilets into i disbalance they go he's posted up at long side with this awp and he's kept team spirit in the advantage four on three and vp whatever their game plan was it is grinded to a halt buster is trying to switch it up and he might with that kill on some magics now looking to close the distance and Ooh. another frag found by buster this a site now open now right for the taking as Team Spirit are left, a man down in a retake, all off the back of Buster for VP. Not done yet, though. He is on the back line. He's come through spawn. He's found Kicker lurking in mid. He's been having a very rough game, has Kicker. Mia, he can make this one happen. It's a miraculous potential, but not going to happen. Flick from the AWP of I Disbalance into the one-on-one. -on -one. He swapped out the gun. He's down to the rifle, but does he know Sanji's tucked? Oh, he almost sees the head. He realizes now as the Molly comes in, and he's going to get aggressive. I think his teammates must have to start the game. Oh, wait, we already started. It's 11-4 currently. Spirit running the board. Virtus Pro. A little bit absentee here as we look at the second half of the third map of the first series of the day, the SL1 Road Rio. And boy, is this road long. I'm here with Harry and Hugo. And these guys are having quite a delightful time here enjoying the show. Yeah, I mean, a surprising time, right? VP lacking in this map, which is a bit of a shame. We wanted more from them, and maybe we'll get it here in the CT side, but it is going to be so reliant on what is often a round of RNG at best. It's a pistol. Got to hope you gamble right if you're VP in right now. Things could go well. James on a big flank. Oh, he's been caught, though. He's been dinked. Chopper has him in the connector. Everyone else for Spirit down on B, and they're going to commit. Kicker getting mollied off at short. He has three kills right now, and he might not get very lucky here either. Trying to escape the site takes one down with him. That's good work from Kicker, but can VP pick up the pieces of this round? Buster's on a flank, and they're already in the pit. This is a weird one for Spirit. Wrapping back, Buster catches SDY, and Spirit with two in the pit can't plant. They don't have control of the site, really. Trent's fighting from upper. Chopper's going to come in late. Does finish off Jane that he dinked earlier, but Buster is still killing, and he's now all that needs to kill here for VP. He needs both. Spirit have control of B. They can go towards A through the spawn if they don't want to chase down this kill. And uh, they do, because Buster walks right into them. Magix closes it, and Spirit find 12 moving into the second half. Yeah, as easy as that. Spirit want to close the door on this as if it never happened. Virtus Pro. Made him look silly on Mirage, and I feel like maybe Spirit definitely didn't like the taste that left into their mouths. With 12-4, they're going to pick up this round. Now, of course, looking ahead here into the second round, this conversion is equally important. We talk about it time and time again, but with the current financial system within the game, it is pivotal that Spirit win this round, continue to solidify this win. It'll be a long climb back for, for Virtus Pro. They're going to start with a triple boost. And immediately, Jame loses his noggin, and that's it. They're going to continue to look towards this beast site. Spirit have their eyes on the prize. That's a grand final appearance. Right now, though, they need to barrel through the beast site. Ooh. Kicker with the USP. Yeah, I mean, you know that VP are feeling like they're in a... Okay, cool. <laughs> well, 
Uh, sorry, yeah, you know VP are feeling like they're in a bit of a predicament when they're fully, full ecoing after losing a pistol round. VP never full eco, so this is already showing what a rough spot they're in, and the dread doesn't get easier from here. Idis Balas is already in your spawn, and he's going to let you or take you down before you even try and go back up towards A. Spirit up to 13 now, just three away from a grand final. VP, do they have a solution? Do they have an answer here on the CT side? Obviously, that eco allows this rifle round to come through now for VP. Got to make it worth his while. Jame on the AWP. None for Spirit, and he's going to take the fight. Or not. He's actually playing for info. From this position, you can hear if anyone drops connector, and that's good information for Jame. He now knows they're there. And as a result, you now know the timing. You, you, you have the knowledge that, okay, I can look at mid, I can look at party, but I need to be aware at a certain point, someone is going to come up this stairwell in tandem with Spirit. So he positions accordingly. He's holding the connector from his spot, and Spirit are going elsewhere anyway. They're taking long with the bomb, with three. Two coming out con, and Jame is inside the toilet, so he actually won't see any of this. And... He's actually kind of picked one of the worst spots for this. He's going to have uh, a kill presented himself and a chance to back up, but he also has the least amount of information available here. Luckily, a teammate has come on rotation. Adren is watching long, but Jamie needs to be wary of short side as well as the toilets, which he's currently watching. Big Jame. Big name. And it's going to hit the floor. Like some more of the bodies around this matchup. Four versus oh four. Team Spirit don't look to stop. Still, they will hit this A site. Will they get any more contests here for it? Not entirely sure. Molotov does come in and displaces eye disbalance, but the bomb being planted, that's created a whole new set of problems for the side of Virtus Pro. We're looking to retake. 2v1, just Buster. He's got no kit, does have a smoke. He has an AWP here. It looks like he wants to at least give it an honest attempt. Some Dai Young offers himself up on a silver platter. Easy as that. And now, just the last player in here. Ooh. What was a rather close shot. Buster misses. And Spirit go up to 14. Yeah, as good as Buster's been, you're facing Mir. And this man has, has been monstrous throughout this series. So, good luck. And, well, even that won't help. 14-4 Spirit. Looking like they're going to close out overpass in a quick affair. VP's one right for round. Their one chance slips from underneath them. Mm. Adren tries to swap out guns while Spirit are executing on long. Two players there. They kill one. He thinks it's clear. As soon as he dr presses G, uh, G, drops his M4, he gets double peaked. So, yeah, not the best uh, best of rounds for VP there. Jame on a scout. It's really all they have in this round other than pistol armor. And Mir, he might make some magic happen. There's a gap in that smoke, and they don't realize he's crossed into this side of it, so Buster could be dead if he peeks this close. Mir is playing patient. All the time in the world here for Team Spirit. And he's found the perfect timing. That's excellent. Even with another, Sanji tries to spin off of the site, and he will be dead with no fight. Sundai Young opens up a monster, and Spirit have just won this round, and likely the series as a result. VP putting up nothing in this one. B site's been lost. The bomb is so far away because Spirit didn't think it would come that easily, but it has, and it will. And I just balance. He might have some kills coming his way as well. He just might. Uh oh, free orb. I dread seeing him. He knows. He's scared though, and I would be too. Oh, knife kill. Real monstrous. Knife kill. Occasion. Do it. Do it, Adren. Do it. Do it. Oh, that's a terrible feeling, and I love Adren. Every second of him jumping on top of his head for that was worth it. That is style points beyond this world. You were not ready for it. And of course, neither was Virtus Pro ready for overpass 15. While all the gimmicks and fun are going on, this is still a big loss. Yeah, Jane might get away with the AWP at the very, very least. You feel for Adren, that knife almost not coming through, but he was able to get it. That's the way to do it, though. You jump on top of the offer's head. He's all panicking, spinning around. Ah! 
ah, where am I getting shot from? What's going on? What's key, which I see a lot of players mess up, is if you're on top of someone's head, you're doing that. If you're above anyone, left click. Yes, it does less damage, but if you right click from above someone, you're not going to kill them a lot of the time because of the distance. Don't know if everyone knows this. The left click, less damage, but it reaches further and it swings faster. So there's a benefit. That's why you see left, left, right as the best combo. As long as you land every left, right? Um, yes, as long as you land every, every left, left, right? Right. All right. Speaking of what's left, today on the docket, Vitality G2 coming up next, scheduled for 1630 local, and it looks as though we're right on time for that at the very minimum. And so is Chopper. He's going to find an AWP bullet. Just, I think it's a 308 Lapua. Anyway, just buried into his cranium. Now Virtus Pro sit back and wait. They know they have the numbers advantage, but this this spot, quite the angle here for Buster. A little bit advantageous would it have been, it's just not enough. 4v4. Spirit still could grab this round and the series. Yeah, Dren's gonna come in on an early rotate from this A bomb site down towards B. He's gonna sneak on in. So three players here for VP. And that's great if Team Spirit commit to this B bomb site, which look, looks to be the case right now. However, this bomb still drop, dropped passively Ooh. back. And now with that kill coming through from Kicker, mm. are they still looking to commit? It feels like it. Mir getting that kill has spurred Team Spirit on. Still two players back inside of the site. It's going to fall to Sanji and Adren to hold the line. Ooh. And Adren blindsiding one from Ooh, Short what? Magics See with you, a dude. stellar double. And it is all on Jame. Now, this man often finds himself alone. A 1v2. But the lone wolf of Jame to try and keep this series alive for VP. The AWP in his hands, his weapon of choice. Jame closing the distance, sneaking on in from CT. The smoke in the sight fades, wow. though. And I